So I want to talk about evangelism and discipleship for just like two minutes. We all have people in our lives that need to know Jesus. Jesus said, unless you've been born again, you won't see the kingdom of heaven. So we want to share our faith with loved ones. Sometimes we're not the ones that have been chosen to share our faith with them in such a fashion that they come to Jesus. Maybe somebody else has been selected for that. But we need to be prepared to tell the story about Jesus. And one of the most powerful things in evangelism is your testimony. You can debate theology. People can go back and forth on scriptural concepts, but no one can debate what God has done in your life. When you say to somebody, you know what, I was selfish and alone, and I have been changed by God, and I'm now a giving person, and I'm no longer as miserable as I used to be. That's a testimony. I got to tell you, I'm, I'm pretty stoked because Monday on national television, on uh, I, I can't remember how many channels, I think it's like 20-some channels around the nation, DA is going to be sharing his testimony on the TCT network. So, praise God. He'll be sharing on the Rejoice program, and uh, Nora and I will actually be interviewing him, so that'll be, uh, it'll be fun. And then discipleship. We don't stop when we get saved. We become disciples. We're really following God. How we do that? Well, this list of seven things is a great place to start. Now, gang, the Bible is so complicated and so many depths to it. It's not like we could come up with an all-inclusive list. Here's everything you need to do in order to love God and love people. But this list of seven things is a great place to start, and it's a great place to kind of give yourself a checkup, if you will. We have what's called the Great Commission. And this is one of the last things that Jesus said to the disciples in Matthew 28. He says, all authority, Matthew 28, 18, and Jesus came and spoke to them saying, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and get people saved. That's not what he said. He said, go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I've commanded you. And lo, I'm with you always even to the end of the age. Amen. It's awesome that God is using this fellowship to both baptize local believers in a local church and then also to teach the Word of God around the world. We get certainly notes from people locally, but also from people in Europe and Africa. You hear me mention the fact that we can be used to disciple those folks is amazing. But the question is, are you a part of that? Or is that just something you hear about? God didn't bring any of us here because we've just got it all figured out and we need to enlighten the rest of people. We're not here because we've already dealt with all our problems, but because we are dealing with them. Discipleship, that's just you spiritually growing. 